Hello, my name is Mbai Jai, and I'm the founder of Legal Equalizer, the app that makes encounters with law enforcement safer for everybody involved. Now, when I think about racialized trauma, I always go back to a quote from the great James Baldwin. And that quote was this, to be a Negro in this country and to be relatively conscious is to be in a state of rage almost, almost all the time, and in one's work. And part of the rage is this, it isn't only what is happening to you, but it's what's happening all around you, and all the time in the face of the most extraordinary and criminal indifference of most white people in this country, and their ignorance. Now, since this is so, it's a great temptation to simplify the issues under the illusion that if you simplify them enough, people recognize them. I think this illusion is very dangerous because in fact, it isn't the way it works. A complex thing can't be made simple. You simply have to try to deal with in it all this complexity and hope to get that complexity across. Now, the older I get, the more that resonates with me. The more I think about how that statement impacts my own personal racialized trauma in this country. Knowing that if I was to get gunned down while unknown by a police officer tomorrow, that most white people I know would be indifferent or they would fake ignorance because it wouldn't affect them. Knowing that that indifference and that feigned ignorance is why we still are fighting for equal rights in 2022. When my grandmother, my mother, my great-grandmother fought for some of these same exact rights. That's racialized trauma. Knowing that 60 years after my great-grandmother and my grandmother had to deal with the civil rights movement to have their votes counted, that we're still dealing with the same thing. Knowing that 30 years after I got here into this country and saw Rodney King get beaten up by police officers, we're dealing with the same thing. That's racialized trauma. It's that indifference and that feigned ignorance of what's truly happening to your peers. It's that things take time to change. No, change starts with you. Change starts with you. We don't have to wait anymore. We can make that change today. Thank you.